by such conduct is guilty of an impeachable offense warranting removal from office. Article 27, failing to comply with congressional subpoenas and instructing former employees not to comply in his conduct while President of the United States, George Bush, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has both personally and acting through his agents and subordinates, refused to comply with congressional subpoenas, and instructed former employees not to comply with congressional subpoenas. Subpoenas not complied with include a House Judiciary Committee subpoena for Justice Department papers and email, emails issued April 10, 2007, a House Oversight and Government Reform Committee subpoena for the testimony of the Secretary of State issued April 25, 2007, a House Judiciary Committee subpoena for the testimony of former White House Counsel Harriet Myers and documents issued June 13, 2007, a Senate Judiciary Committee subpoena for documents and testimony of White House Chief of Staff Joshua Bolton issued June 13, 2007, a Senate Judiciary Committee subpoena for documents and testimony of White House Political Director Sarah Taylor issued June 13, 2007. Now, Taylor appeared, but refused to answer questions. A Senate Judiciary Committee subpoena for documents and testimony of White House Deputy Chief of Staff Karl Rove issued June 26, 2007. A Senate Judiciary Committee subpoena for documents and testimony of White House Deputy Political Director J. Scott Jennings, issued June 26, 2007. Jennings appeared but refused to answer questions. A Senate Judiciary Committee subpoena for legal analysis and other documents concerning the NSA warrantless wiretapping program from the White House, Vice President Cheney, the Department of Justice, and the National Security Council. If the documents are not produced, the subpoena requires the testimony of White House Chief of Staff Josh Bolton, Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, Cheney Chief of Staff David Addington, National Security Council Director V. Philip Lego, issued June 27, 2007. a House Oversight and Government Reform Committee subpoena for Lieutenant General Kensinger. In all these actions and decisions, President Bush has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as President and subversive of constitutional government to the prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, President George W. Bush, by such conduct, is guilty of an impeachable offense warranting removal from office. Article 27, 27, strike that, Article 28 tampering with free and fair elections, corruption of the administration of justice, in his conduct while President of the United States, George W. Bush, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty 
under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has both personally and acting through his agents and subordinates conspired to undermine and tamper with the conduct of free and fair elections and to corrupt the administration of justice by United States attorneys and other employees of the Department of Justice through abuse of the appointment power. Towards this end, the, the President and the Vice President, both personally and through their agents, did engage in a program of manufacturing false allegations of voting fraud in targeted jurisdictions where the Democratic Party enjoyed an advantage in electoral performance or otherwise was problematic for the President's Republican Party in order that public confidence in election results favorable to the Democratic Party be undermined. Directed United States attorneys to launch and announce investigations of certain leaders, candidates, and elected officials affiliated with the Democratic Party at times calculated to cause the most political damage and confusion, most often in the weeks immediately preceding an election in order that public confidence in the suitability for office of Democratic Party leaders, candidates, and elected officials be undermined. Directed United States attorneys to determine or scale back existing investigations of certain Republican Party leaders, candidates, and elected officials allied with the George Bush administration and to refuse to pursue new or proposed investigations of certain Republican Party leaders candidates and elected officials allied with George Bush's administration in order that public confidence in the suitability of such Republican Party leaders, candidates and elected officials be bolstered or restored, threatened to terminate the employment of the following United States attorneys who refuse to comply with such directives and purposes. David C. Iglesias as U.S. Attorney for the District of New Mexico. Kevin Ryan as U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of California. John L. McKay as U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Washington. Paul K. Charlton as U.S. Attorney for the District of Arizona. Carol C. Lamb as U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of California. Daniel C. Bogdan as U.S. Attorney for the District of Nevada. Margaret M. Chiara as U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan. Todd Graves as U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Missouri. Harry Bud Cummins III as U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Arkansas. Thomas M. DiBiagio as U.S. Attorney for the District of Maryland and Casey Warner as U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of West Virginia. Further, George W. Bush has both personally and acting through his agents and subordinates, together with the Vice President, conspired to obstruct the lawful congressional investigation of these dismissals of United States attorneys and the related scheme to undermine and tamper with the conduct of free and fair elections and to corrupt the administration of justice. Contrary to his oath faithfully to execute the Office of President of the United States and to the best of his ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed George W. Bush has, without lawful cause or excuse, directed not to appear before the Committee on the Judiciary of the House of Representatives certain witnesses summoned by duly authorized subpoenas issued by, the, by that committee on June 13, 2007. In refusing to permit the testimony of these witnesses, George W. Bush, substituting his judgment as to what testimony was necessary for the inquiry, 
interposed the powers of the presidency against the lawful subpoenas of the House of Representatives, thereby assuming to himself functions and judgments necessary to the exercise of the checking and balancing power of oversight vested in the House of Representatives. <laughs>